Good morning, people. And as you can see, our recliners are gone. These chairs are set up in front of the TV, and today I will be getting rid of that table, the brace, and getting this ready for solid surface top buffet table that extends out about to here. About another 10 or 12 inches out. We've got new stools coming and the beachfront color, which is the color of our cabinets. This whole base will be painted. Yesterday I scrubbed this floor down with Clorox and lemon. I got a little bit of an area to do over there because we still had some stuff uh, on the floor. But today this will all be ready and tomorrow the hard surface people are coming to pre-fit. So we'll be ready for them. Good morning folks. It is quarter seven. I'm on my first cup of coffee and yesterday, actually late yesterday, I took out this table mechanism, all the interior guts, a glass that we had made for it so we didn't scratch it. I am in the process of painting this beachfront white, which is the same color as our cabinets. Uh, just to make a long story short, at about nine o'clock this morning, I have the hard surface people coming over to make sure that everything is going to fit because I had them match this surface over here and I'm extending it out to here and we are putting low boy stools, chairs right here. And this will be how we sit now so we can look out the windows when we're sitting wherever we're at and wherever we go. Most of the time it's around the ocean, but we haven't made it there this year yet. So anyways, I am patiently waiting for the hard surface people, which are Desert Eagle here in Henderson, Nevada will be coming out and when that's done I've got the paint ordered in Indiana which matches this which actually makes this paint for the manufacturer itself well this morning our buffet table is getting some white primer put on it. And boy, does that paint stay inside your unit. I have my carbon monoxide warning light letting me know that I was doing something that I shouldn't be doing inside my fifth wheel. So I got this far with it. We got a little cloud going. I turn the fans on and I'm sucking the air out of the fifth wheel and throwing it outside but eventually like I said I believe earlier in one of my earlier videos when I was taking this apart that we have beach white uh, paint being sent to us from Indiana and uh, if I don't get a return call here saying that uh, they're sending it I'm just going to take a drawer off and go to Lowe's and have a colored match the best I can. I'm on a time crunch here. We got to get it done. And on that note, I'm going back to spray paint. Howdy folks, 
Well, as you can see, we finally get this color matched. We were waiting for the production people to send us a couple of quarts. Well, that's gone into over a week. Uh, I've never heard back from them or anything else, but that doesn't surprise me because that seems to be the norm up in Lake Hart, Indiana. So we had our own guy take one of the drawers and spend a couple of hours on it so we could match the beachfront paint. Um, I understand that the world is just coming back to where it used to be, but I'll tell you what, customer service, and it just not just with them, it seems to be with everybody, is at an all time friggin' low. That's my personal opinion on personal and customer service. I mean, when you get everything ripped apart and you're on a schedule, seems the only people that care about your schedule are you and the significant other that you live with, which in my eyes is pretty piss poor. But I'll get off of those subjects and move on. Um, this color looks like it's spot on. They've spent quite a bit of time and the only way we'll be able to tell is when it's dry, which will be in two or three hours. So, while I sit here and gab on, all I can do at this point is hope that everything is good, because if it is, then I won't have to repaint this again. Well, here we are at day three of priming, painting, top coating. And it's not like if I used an airless sprayer, I could prime it, wait two hours, and then come back and top coat it. Uh, I wanna make sure this paint dries the way it's supposed to. You don't have any light spots, you don't have any dark spots because these are the cabinets uh, that you will see from the front of the cabinet. So um, we just, we primed them this morning. They're out here in the sun. And this is uh, the first top coat with the finished paint. I do have to say they do look pretty good. I think the next coat, I'm gonna hit them with a brush though, or maybe I'll sand them down a little bit. They've got a little bit of a, a little bit of bumpity bump to them, and I don't know if I like that. That we got a really plush roller that's not supposed to let that happen. Um, but unfortunately, after they get bound up with paint, they hold paint and they spread it back on here. That's why I keep on touching these up, trying to get little pieces of paint off. I'll just hit them with 320 sandpaper and that stuff will come right off. But hopefully this thing all goes back together today. And this will be the last time that I paint this and then we're waiting on the hard surface, which should be here this week. So, We'll see you in another day or two and hopefully have the whole end product to show you. A brief update, there we go. On the buffet table uh, that I repainted, finally put the, uh, the doors on, put the little felt tips on the corners so it closes nice and quiet. At the same time, I fixed all of the daytime and nighttime shades because when you pull on these things after you live in it for a while, um, 
they just don't open and close like they did when they were new. So I took care of that, did them all in the fifth wheel. Sometime this week, hopefully the solid surface that we ordered will be in. It is still not in because of the delays from what happened uh, in our country with COVID. Uh, everybody sold out of everything. There was no replenishment. And now what you've got is people waiting on stuff. It could be two months, it could be three months. Uh, it could be a year, uh, depending on what, you, you know, what you've ordered. Uh, we tried to get three bar stools for here and um, come to find out there were none in the United States. So we had to change and go somewhere else and we finally found some. They should be here within a week. The top should be on and I will videotape that when it happens. On that note, thank you for subscribing. If you have any comments, please write them, send them to us and uh, I can tell you how I tore this thing apart. Got the paint to match the rest of it. It's called Beachfront Interior. And uh, hopefully we have uh, most of our stuff by the end of this upcoming week. Thanks again, folks. See you on the road. We have Desert Stone here to replace our hard surface on our buffet table that we've changed around. And my wife Denise is gonna film him while, while he does it. So this is the end of the beginning. This is gonna be a quarter of an inch shorter than what we talk about. It's not gonna be at two and a half, it's gonna be at two and a quarter inch short, uh, tall. And, but because if I put another layer of a quarter of an inch down here, then you're gonna see the difference. So to make it a, a, as clean as possible, or as clean cut possible, I'm just gonna leave it like that, just a quarter of an inch short. Man, that looks good. <laughs> Is that good? It's a good height? Yeah, that's good. Oh, look it. Like a little kid at Christmas. That's perfect. Now you try. You're on the camera. I'm on the camera? Good. Perfect. It is, isn't yep. it? I'm happy. Right. It's higher than what it was, which is good. That that little difference made a lot of. Yeah, because now I don't feel like I'm. <laughs> you already glue it down? No, I haven't. No. He's testing it for me. So I'm just gonna put some silicone and then some hot glue. So once the hot glue dries, it won't move at all.
So what is this that you're putting this on? This is silicone and this takes about, uh, since it's, it's industrial, uh, it takes about six hours to dry, but completely dried, it takes about 20 hours to completely dry so your tub doesn't move. So what I'm doing is just uh, putting just a layer of it. And after this, once the things, this thing gets hot, uh, I'm just gonna put like four to five dabs of uh, hot glue. Cause once I put it on, this is gonna dry so fast that it's gonna make it stay there and not move at all. Okay, and, and so the silicone can dry whenever it wants, whenever it needs to, whenever it has to dry. So what are you using right now? Uh, just using soap and water. This is not a four or nine cleaner. Okay. Uh, we use the soap and water because if we use any other stuff, um, it tends at the beginning, not later on, but at the beginning it tends to uh, make it smear or shaded and it brings out the color nice and smooth. That's what we do and you can you guys can use anything any other cleaner that you want uh, not to use any other that has ammonia or acetone or thinner if you guys use that you might make the color disappear or the shine of the material okay looks awesome it is. looks so good it. yeah and, and you guys can reach us at well the company is called desert eagle and you can reach us at 702-362-2522 and you can ask for michelle and she can help you out to get either more material this material which is solid surface or granite if that's your preferences and you can ask for me and i can install it for you and what is your name? And my name is Esteban Gellin. Very nice. All right, thank you guys. Awesome, thank you, great job. No problem. Good morning. And this is the finished product. Finally, uh, took us a month, a um, couple of weeks, three weeks to get the hot surface in. Uh, the chairs were a pain in the neck. Um, we finally found something we liked on Overstock because the Kia they couldn't even tell us when the ones we picked out were gonna come in. Um, we couldn't wait, we had everything torn apart. But as you can see, this is the finished product. They came and installed it, hot glue and silicone, and uh, they said that will never move. So I got a warranty that says they said that. Uh, Desert Stone and uh, Henderson, Nevada is the installers. They're very good people and very nice. So, as you can see, we got one here. We got this here, and it's a done deal. And we're very happy with it. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions concerning how this was accomplished, please leave a comment. I'd be glad to answer anything that I possibly can for you, or I'll find the answer. See you on the road.